Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And congratulations to my beloved cohort one. Let's see. Keep my glasses on. <laughs> As a member of the first cohort and class of 2023, I am honored to have taken this journey back in study to explore the achievements of each national president as they made their own personal inscriptions in the history book of this great organization. It has always been my prayer that as the sisterhood has a chance to observe its past achievements and now be among those celebrated, others in the organization will want to follow suit and become part of the Leadership Academy. This year's theme from the international president gives us the charge. We are a beloved sisterhood, women of vision, version, and victory. What does this mean to us as women of legacy and the first graduating class of this inaugural Leadership Academy? As we move further forward in life to pursue our own goals, as well as represent our husbands as they spread the gospel and nurture their own churches and ministries. I would dare say, as an organization, we must never lose sight of our identity. As one sisterhood and one faith, we have been called for such a time as this to make a difference as we continue to lead with virtue, vision, and victory. Are we allowing differences like status, affiliation, and denomination to hinder us from being united and working together for progress just as our past and present national presidents, the Majestic Nine, have worked so hard to secure? The legacy of our visionary and founder, Mrs. Elizabeth Coles Bowie, has brought us this far by faith, prayer, and love to include a new generation of influencers. To my fellow cohortians, how do you see yourselves now that our season with the Academy has come to an end? Have you begun to contemplate new possibilities within your local, state, and regional chapters that you would have never considered before? Has this experience shifted your mind to think outside of the box and dare to dream of something more than what is right in front of you? Has this time of study together afforded you even more faith and assurance in the fact that we are truly one sisterhood? Who are we as women of virtue? We all know Proverbs 31, to divine a virtuous woman is one who leaves her home with integrity, discipline, selflessness, and more. All the attributes she practices are aimed at making her husband's life better, teaching her children, and serving God. To those who are widows, where providing for your husbands are no more, don't be dismayed, because your virtues now lie in your marriage to our Heavenly Father, who has always maintained his covenant with you and keeps you grounded with purpose and love. In your change season, your light has not dimmed, but instead, you now have a new testimony that of lessons learned and triumphs won through God's grace and mercy. Being virtuous is an overall approach to life that brings a level of excellence to all we do or say. It is not a matter of reaching perfection, which we know is impossible. Rather, it is a call to adopt and practice those principles that keep us growing in God's grace. Virtue is not only good, but full of potential and power to make things in and around us better. God calls us to pursue it because he knows how impactful we can be in our relationships and ministries as a result of it. Who are we as women of vision? 
Proverbs 16.3 encourages us to commit to the Lord whatever we do, and our plans will succeed. Unfortunately, we live in a microwave society where we want to reap the harvest before we actually sow the seed. <laughs> By that, I mean we look to be placed in positions based on seniority or time served, and not based on putting in the work to show ourselves approved. Be okay with being part of the supporting cast. It was Oprah Winfrey who said, forget about the fast money. If you really want to fly, just harness your power to your passion. Honor your calling. Everyone has one. Trust your heart and success will come to you. These two years of study have brought us to this very moment, from reality to possibility. We now have received the tools necessary to allow us to feel more comfortable with shifting our way of thinking and stepping out into the deep. Where is the faith needed to pursue the abundant possibilities that God has for this organization? I am just foolish enough to believe that there are realities and blessings beyond what we see, and they are just waiting for us to achieve. Lastly, who are we as women of victory? What makes us victorious in our lives? and in our service to this great organization. It is our willingness to forge ahead and never give up yep. on making a difference in our homes, or in our jobs, in our churches, and All in right. our communities. All right. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Lord has promised us hope and a future. Yeah. Yeah. Luke 145 assures us that blessed is she who believes that the Lord will fulfill his promises to her. Everything we set our hearts and hands to do are attainable through the blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ. The example has been set through the legacy of our past and present national presidents. And it is now up to us to take this next generation of influencers, it is now up to us, to the next generation of influencers, to take the baton and run with it. And at this very moment, my beloved sisters of cohort one, who I will affectionately refer to as the Consequential 24. <laughs> We now have the baton, and it is up to us to be instrumental in taking the IAMWMW toward the next generation and beyond. Where there is unity, there will always be victory. Victory is here. Let us now savor this moment and relish in our achievements as we give God all the glory and praise for the things he continues to do in the lives of those who love him. Yeah. So congratulations, Women of Legacy, and the first cohort of the Leadership Academy. God has been faithful. Mm -hmm. His promises never fail. Yeah. And today, okay. victory is ours. Yeah.